my latest bag noodle from Now and Every Crew. And today we're gonna do some unique top rocks. These ones I created. I personally haven't seen other people do these, but knowing B Boys, someone's probably not somewhere in the world, so I simply didn't learn from anybody I created. So here you go. Enjoy it. You guys know I like them quick styles, so of course these steps are pretty quick, but we will slow them down for you to learn first. So we're gonna start off, basically I flip the reverse uh, crossover step, this one, one and two, the basic, but I kept it on the ground. And then I added a little crossover too. So slowly what we're gonna do is just start feet together. You're gonna go right heel on the ground, and then you're just gonna turn out to your toe, like that. Then you go heel, switch, other side, toe. Then heel, switch, toe. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now while you rotate, let your hips go with it. Don't stay solid like that. You wanna twist your back heel into it like that, okay? So you're gonna twist, center, switch, twist. Center, switch, twist. Notice that I stay low to the ground. I'm not up here, I'm not going super hoppy because I want to go fast with it. If you want to go slow and add your own flavor to it by all means, but the way I do it is I like to stay low to the ground so that I can go faster. So you're going to make these movements very small now. So you're going to go one just in front of you, twist this side two, switch, one, two, and start adding a little bit of speed into it. Going one, two, three, four, one, Two, three, four. Ha, 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 ha. Start getting the natural. Hit, 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 hit. Notice that there's not much weight on my feet. I'm trying to stay as light as possible. Because the lighter I am, I am, the faster I can go. And then if you use your hips with it, see that? You can start going quicker. Now once you're comfortable with that, we're gonna add in the variation that makes it a little bit more unique which is going from here to in front, back. Okay, so obviously I took a little bit of tap dancing and spoke for this step, if it's not obvious. So you're going one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that side touch, you wanna make sure you're hitting that figure four so your calf is touching your knee and it toes on the ground just like that, okay? So going boom, boom. All right, so going one, two, three, ha, ballet, ha. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six. Add the twist in, one, two, three, tap and hit. So the reason we're going that way too is because it adds more layers to the movement. Rather than just having this side, why not having this side as well? Because if we can have both sides, we have more steps to play with and add more variety in. Now, since we're twisting one way, to add more flow to it and make it feel more natural, we're gonna twist the other way. So when you go and twist here, you're also gonna be twisting away there. You see that? So you're gonna be twisting whichever way makes most sense. So if my leg's twisting out this way, it'll make sense if my back foot comes with it, right? Same with here. If I'm twisting with this foot, why not twist with my back foot too? So make sure your back foot is staying on your toe so that you can easily twist out the heel of it, okay? Boom, see that? Heel twist and heel twist, okay? So your back is going hit and hit and hit and hit and hit and hit and. Add it all together now. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. A little bit quicker. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, you can obviously double up on one side. That's what I like to do. I personally have to go a solo and then just rock one side. So if you want to just have a nice riff back and forth, just go hit, 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 and just keep that cycle going. Twist, 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 twist. So we're gonna do basic, basic, double, double. Ready? Basic, basic, double, double. And then just vibe with it. Flip it, change it, rearrange it, make it yours, and make it fast, bro.
Okay, second step is my figure four slingshot. This one just requires a little bit of a step ball change and a back hook hop. So, learning it very quickly, all we're gonna do is go whoop, step with your right foot, left foot is gonna hook behind your knee, like that, and it's gonna hop to the side. Boom, like that. So use your hips and really open that up. Then you're just gonna step back with the leg that's already hooked. Da, da, step. Then you're gonna leg that's in the back right now is just gonna go come behind, hook it, and you're gonna hop this way. Boom, same thing. Remember, always the leg that hooks steps back first, and then you just do a step ball change, so step together, then step in front, and again, the back foot always comes and hooks, and then hops to the side, side, and then like this hooked, always steps back, back, step, leg in the back, always comes to a hook. And then you should repeat that process. Did you see that spit? That was on point. Step, step, hit, hook, and twist. So what makes it look really nice is when you have that really good arch here, okay? So it doesn't have to be insane, but the bigger you can make that into a pose or whatever you want to do, make it fly, make it yours, the better it's gonna look. There's no such thing as starting with the wrong leg here. Just start with a step outwards, not cross body and not front. So if you step out, whichever leg's in the back, it hooks and pops. If you step across, that's where you get issues with it. So just make sure you're stepping either to a side out or a side out. So again, going out, hook, out, step, step, hit, hook, out, step, step, hit. Now, to make it a little bit quicker, what you're gonna do is make that step ball change fast, okay? So make that, make sure you're on your toes there and you're not going flat foot. So make that quick. You don't wanna lean all your weight into the back. You just wanna be a quick hit, toe toe step, okay? Hook, land, toe toe hit. And out, one, two, three. Hit, one, two, three. Hit, one, two, three. Hit, one, two, three. Hit, remember, knee, face in that direction, body big. With speed now. Number three, last one, the MM shuffle. So this step is taking a basic crab walk style, but bringing it always inwards. So just as James Brown did ones like this, what I'm doing is I'm going from here with both feet crossing paths each time. So it has this kind of jellyfish illusion to it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start off getting comfortable with this, going heels, toes together. So hop, and as soon as you land, go right away. So you're gonna go hop, as soon as you land, you go heel, toe, hit. Now literally the second you land, hit it. One, two, three, like that. One, two, three. So notice I'm gonna be landing on my toes so that my heels can hit in right away. Hit, like that, okay? One, boom, boom. If you also hop with the heels slightly outwards like that, it's gonna make it easier to get in. One, two, three. 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 Boom. Make sense? So it starts to almost have a two-step pattern to it because the hop becomes a step. Hop, hop. Now just spread those legs apart to opposite corners and do the same thing. Toes, heel, toe, together. And out, heel, toe, together. And out, heel, toe, together. Out, heel, toe, together. Now all you do is make that jump to third step. So three, two, one, three, two, one, three, two, one, three, two, one, you see? And that's how you get the step. Now going a little slower, hop, make sure your toes, in, center, try to have your legs as close to center as you can. If they're in one line or even cross body, they're gonna look way better, okay? It's gonna make the illusion just more and more of that jellyfish. Out, pop, pop, out, one, two, one, two, one, two, up, one, two. Notice I'm going right away. So you want to make sure you have that muscle memory down. Hit, 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 one, two, hit, one, two, hit, one, two, hit, one, two, hit, 
one, two, hit, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And that's the MM Shuffle. Don't forget that you're seeing a product of hours and hours of practice in like a 10 minute video. So don't stress if you don't get it right away. I drilled this super, super, super slow over and over and over again. The trick to these steps is not that they're hard. It's not that you need a certain amount of strength. It's literally just investing time into it. So with that being said, don't forget to comment down below. Let me know what top rock steps you'd like me to teach you guys next or other unique steps. Let me know. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and smash that bell button for all the new videos. I'll see you tomorrow. Before you go, if you're not completely sick of my face already, don't forget to get my free course, Breaking Made Simple. To access the course, all you have to do is go to the link down below. To get the free download, all you have to do is join the Facebook group, Breaking Made Simple, which is a hub for people to learn, grow, and just get better and become the best b-boys they possibly can, man.